Hey guys, Tyler here. So I want to make this easy video to actually explain you a little what's going on with the channel right now, what I'm working on right now, because I think it's very, very interesting and then it's something that I want to share with you actually because like it's something that we can like enjoy all together. So what I'm working on is actually recreating my old place, my apartment in VR, a virtual space where I can move that is exactly like the apartment that I have right now. Why I'm doing it? Well, I said it 30,000 times, probably you know already, but if you're new here, well, probably you're not even interested, but I'm moving from New York and because I lived here in this apartment with Edgar for like three years, it's actually a very important thing for us to remember it in the right way. And you just know that like photos, they don't make justice. And that's where our technology comes like handy and like it's kind of mind-blowing because like we can actually recreate the whole environment with the possibility to actually move a room scale inside so the idea is like i put on my oculus quest or every headset that you can use and you just start to walk around and i can sit on the couch maybe it's not a good idea because i will fall but i i can like uh, take a coffee a virtual coffee or stuff like that and i go in front of the fridge even like in 30 years i'm gonna be able to see my house as it was it's not gonna be just a picture it's something that you can almost touch you can actually feel real but this is not done yet. It's not that easy anyway. It's not like just taking two pictures and you're done. Um, it's called photogrammetry, if I'm saying it right. It's used a lot for um, actually creating textures in video games and stuff like that. Sorry about it. So what I'm doing right now is actually studying to do it in the best way possible during my uh, free time. That's why you're not seeing so many videos because like I work and then I, I have to do something. And uh, now, right now, I'm uh, uh, because I'm at such a short timeline before moving, it's gonna be happen in a week. Uh, I actually have to do this very, very fast. So I'm putting like all my effort, all my brain power to it. If you if you can help, like it's gonna be super appreciated. The comment below, like I'm gonna keep looking and everything because I really need it for this to work in the right way. But anyway, what I'm doing is actually taking picture of all the plays with a 30% of overlapping with every picture. That means like uh, for an apartment like this one, I had to take around 16,000 pictures, something like that. No, sorry, 1650. And then I had to delete some because you have to go through all of them. You have to delete a blur one. And then what you do, you pour them in a mush, 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 in Meshroom, that is a open source software to do that. So what it does is like it match all the picture, create the sense of depth, it creates the structure. So um, as you can see over here, maybe, um, you have all these little dots and all the picture that I took in the apartment. The thing is processing from an entire day is just keep going and going because in this case, it's a very big project, but you can do it actually with any little object that you have and also using your phone as a camera and that's pretty awesome the only thing that you have to do is be sure to keep the same exposure for the picture and going all around in the way to scan every single angle of it just don't do a panning because that is not gonna work you just really have to move every time because it's a pictures is flat and through the light rays that comes to the sensor of the camera understand a little the depth also comparing to the picture after that like if kind of a movement extrapolate all the information about the depth and the 3d and what mind blowing that the textures are actually amazing because it's a picture made with your camera and uh i mean i tried with an apple it was like i wanted to eat that apple it's just it's mind blowing uh, did you ever try to do it because like you actually should it's very easy it doesn't take like a whole day to process like a little image maybe uh, for an apple you take around 50 60 70 pictures and then the results are very very good already and i really suggest you to try because then you can export it you can put it in, like maybe in your oculus home i think you can put it in your oculus home or in your windows mixed reality home or stuff like that or if you really want to create something big well scan your apartment and then we meet up there oh and about that i was also almost forgetting uh, what is the main part of it of course remembering that for the future but also want to invite you guys to a, a goodbye party to the apartment uh, where we can just hang out all together uh, in my place over here uh, maybe 
take a drink, a virtual drink, of course, and uh, chat around and maybe using VR chat because you can actually import like uh, the environment in VR chat directly so we can meet up all year. And it's just amazing what you can do with VR, what you can do with this technology because like it really opens so many doors and uh, it's not easy to create it, but like if I can manage to do it in the right way, guys, it's gonna be super freaking cool. I can't wait to invite you all. You're all invited, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna keep you updated on the project, keep your data also on how to do it. If you are interested, let me know in the comment below. And uh, well, that, that, this is what's going on. I'm sorry if I'm rambling from uh, pretty much uh, 10 minutes, I guess, or five minutes, uh, but I really wanted to share with you what is the situation right now. And I can't wait to like, uh, keep pushing with the content because like I have so much stuff to review, so many interesting accessories for the Quest, uh, the Index and the Oculus Rift S and uh, like so much stuff that I wanna share that I can wait to make more videos. But uh, yeah, I feel like it's awesome that this like a technology is like uh, letting you, letting us like do something like that. Maybe in the future it's gonna become easier and easier. Now there are phones with a depth sensor in the back. Probably you can scan it even faster than what I did. That took like around two hours of shooting for like those 1600 pictures. But um, yeah, it's, it's just, did you ever try to scan something? Well, let me know in the comment below. I feel I'm going too long now, so yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, as always, if you like the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech, and of course, for the goodbye event that is gonna arrive, uh, I'm not even uh, very good with VR chat, so I'm, I'm gonna need some help, I'm telling you. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.